What's up, guys? Brian Fitness here today, and Brian Psycho Fitness here today. Oh, I, I forgot that because I, I changed my name. We're going to be talking about veganism. And a, a, kid, a kid approached me at school. He said, veganism is the, the best way of living. And I, I was thinking for a minute. I was like, what? And he, he started talking about he started talking about lipids and how lipids are basically carbohydrates and I was like lipids are polyunsaturated fats saturated fats they're fats they're these fatty degenerative non nutrients and I was getting really confused and we got into this so when you're usually a vegan you're gonna be relying on a lot of supplementations supplement a lot out you're gonna be supplementing meat out for beans you're gonna supplement that out for hummus you're gonna be supplementing that for from for a range, a wide range of things like vegetables, you're gonna be finding the carbohydrates in the vegetables. But along with that, you find the carbohydrates in the vegetables compared to an old person who finds them just in the vegetables, or finds them in the fruits that have solid fiber, tail solid fiber. The, these grains, the, these medley grains, these rices, these whole wheat based products, and it, it's it, it's just it's crazy to think about. Is when you don't have the correct nourishment, you don't have the correct nutrition, and you you're going to be misled. But the thing is, along with vegetables that you're going to be relying on for these starchy carbohydrates, again, you think that your your blood glucose level is okay, and that it's going to regu- that it's going to regulate your blood sugar really well. But the thing is that when you're applying the dextrose monohydrate, which is a source of sugar sugary powder found in sports drinks, you know, the hidden sugars, 30 grams of sugar found in one sports drink, a Gatorade, any kind of sports drink. You find them in Mountain Dew, in sodas, these caffeinated beverages that, that we usually intake, monstrous, you know, monstrous. My family just has, a, has like a fetish for monsters, I swear. Sister, she's always drank them her whole life. Grandma, you know, she has diabetes type 2. She's still drinking them. She's eating all this bad shit. She's eating all these empty calories. And it, it, it's just sad to see these people, like these vegans, is when you're having that. You can compare that to somebody who has a corrupted low amount of carbohydrates. Because when you add these vegetables, carbohydrates... And yeah, it's natural sugars in that, but when you add that along with dextrose myohydrate, which is another form of carbohydrates found in protein powders, when you're having all that, all those supplementations, the thing is that you're going to be having so many carbohydrates, and it's really going to be affecting your blood glucose level, your your insulin is going to be affecting your glucogen, if it's if it's able with insulin to work together to help the blood glucose level to regulate it. And if it cannot, it's going to lead to low to high blood sugar. It, it, it's going to lead to all these things. It's malnourishment. It's going to lead to more empty calories being consumed with no macronutrient, micronutrient, or macro mineral balance that, that we all need, that all our, body, all our bodies need, that our vital organs need. I, I just farted, guys, so excuse me for a short minute. But as we're talking about vegan, is it, it, it? It's not just that. It's not just the carbohydrates. Is that you're not going to be finding these protein dense options because you rely on vegetables for all the protein. The thing about that is, when we talk about meat, we talk about animal based products. Is that yeah? Again, when you're a vegan, you know if you don't drink milk, you're going to pe- you're going to be cholesterol free free with no unneeded or unnatural cholesterol because again when you when you look at the milk it's a high source of fat and but but if if you really talk about that you can go to one percent low fat milk it only has two point five grams of saturated fat so we can really think about all these other foods and high in protein when we're talking about chickens. We're talking about other other things, you know the people that say 
oh, I'm afraid of an antibiotics, so I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat chicken. Well, <laughs> you better, you better wait because you're going to be taking so many supplementations. And that again is, is really bad, as I mentioned in this. So, vegans, I don't think it is. No, what, what diet should I recommend for you guys? The diet that works for you, again, if you're just starting out, then I recommend to eat these bad foods. But again, with good food, so you can kind of get this this habit building up. And that's how, that's how I did. I used to eat cereal with high amount of carbohydrates, refined sugars. And I, I kind of eased it, and I was like, hey, let's try some oatmeal, brown sugar oatmeal. Let's try that. And w one day I just decided to, hey, you know, I I'm going to really, I care about my body, so... I'm going to try some oatmeal with some walnuts. I'm going to try that with some raisins too. Let's see how it tastes with some, some ground cinnamon too. When I didn't have knowledge of ground spices. And they do so many things. It decreases your blood sugar level. Decreases your chances of hypertension. High blood pressure. Boosts your immune system. And both your basal metabolic rate and your immune system. And you're going to be having stronger immune systems. And more nu nourishment. Again, when you apply these things that, that I recommend for you guys, when you apply these diets. Paleo diet. Hey, tuna, you got spinach, you got fruits, you got meats. A paleo diet is, I think, the set diet for most people. But they just want to think that being a vegetarian or being a vegan is everything. And the thing about this is that they're not going to be getting the nutrients that they need. They're not going to be getting the amount of protein, which is really going to affect protein synthesis and how well the muscle, the muscles build complex.